Hey guys, today we thought we'd do something a little outside the box for me. Um, unlike many of you guys who can only go on the weekends, I'm very lucky I can go during the week uh, like other people, some people can too. But uh, today we've got so much stuff against us, like we've got a light northwesterlies, um, we've got only a two tide day, very little tidal movement. We're in the middle of a heat wave here at the moment. So fishing conditions are absolutely horrible. And that's what you guys have got to put up with a lot of the time when you're restricted to go out. So we thought, why not? Let's just go out on a bad day for a change and just see what happens. Now I've just moved to Cairns as well. So I haven't really had a good look around the inshore area here. I've fished both north and south of the region a fair bit over the years, but just locally here around my local area, uh, I haven't done a whole lot. So we're gonna head out, have a look. I'm not going out to the reef or nothing. I'm gonna try and keep within that five to 10 mile off the coast see what sort of anomalies I can find. I'm going to use my sounder skills. I'm going to look at charts. I'm going to look for anomalies. I'm going to have a good look around, see if I can find some extensions off islands and things like that. So uh, let's head on out and see what trouble we can get into. Uh, sometimes when you're looking for new ground, it, uh, some days you're a bit luckier than others. Sometimes it takes a bit longer and some days you run across the honey hole straight away. I'm just uh, down towards Fitzroy Island way at the moment. We've just ran across a nice little wonky hole here. It's taken about half an hour to find one, but um, yeah, hopefully a couple of good fish on it. I think one of the things that a lot of anglers uh, don't really do that they should practice more often is just going out for a day and doing a day of reconnaissance. Simply because um, too many people I think go to traditional areas and a lot of these places have been fished by many anglers and and that kind of thing so they're just trying to fit in too much fishing in the day and they don't realize that by spending a little bit more time wandering around having a good look if you find something that's pretty much untouched or untouched the rewards will certainly pay off you can catch all the fish you'll catch in one day in the matter of half an hour the ability to actually read your sounder properly is one of the most beneficial things when it comes to finding new ground because without that skill it becomes a whole lot harder and that's basically why I do online courses. Now, Sound of Skills 2, it's just helped so many anglers uh, achieve their fishing dreams because they actually get to use their equipment properly. So we've got pretty neat tides, a light northerly, which is not the best for us. That's why we've come out here today. Yeah, got one. Might be a little mackerel, this one, by the feel of it. Oh, no, it's soon find out. Sometimes unfortunately we do get big schools of Queensland school mackerel on these kind of spots and they they can play havoc on your jigs. So this one did take off like one but hopefully it's just a demersal that's playing up. Well, there's a few head nods there now. We might have a nanny guy. I think it's a pretty much an untouched spot this, there's a fair bit of fish life on it and usually when you drop a jig down it just gets smacked the moment it hits the bottom, it's a good indication. Usually sp spots that are a bit more pressured quite often don't respond so well, even if you do see a few fish on them. Fish have the ability to learn after a while, if you get too many jigs or plastics bounced over them they'll uh, Always be a little bit shy. Here he comes. Yeah, it's a nice nanny. Beauty. Good eating size too, this one. And this one's around about four and a, four and a half kilos. Very good eating size. Uh, I was using lighter braid today. Unfortunately, she's still got a bit of barotrauma there. And we might move in a bit shallower after this just to see if we can catch a couple more. Okay, time for one more drop. See if we can just get a second fish, and we're on. <laughs> oh, it didn't take long. The jig didn't even get to the bottom. Oh, I just love chasing these nannies. They're just so spectac spectacular. Doesn't matter what you catch around wonky holes, trevallies, the whole lot. It's all good fun. Depends if you're into sport fish or whether you just want to take something home for a feed. I like doing a bit of both, personally. Found some great spots today. That's what today was all about, mostly going around, having a good look. Found three or four really nice spots that I can come back to and just grab a fish to take home and whenever I want to. Okay, 
Didn't take long, 20 minutes away, I found another good spot, loaded with these this time. Beautiful fish, these largemouth nannies. These are all a really good eating size. All around this four to five kilos. We're just gonna take one, that's all we need. We've got two fish for the day. We're gonna head home and have a swim in the pool. One of the perks of working with us, cameraman gets to have a fish. <laughs> Cameraman's on. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> Might be a bigger one. Might be the catch of the day. Could be. <laughs> That's crazy. That's it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Okay guys, day's over. We had a great day. We found three really good spots, all within five miles of the coast, believe it or not, and uh, caught some really great fish. We only took one fish off each spot, and then we went looking around again. It's all about reconnaissance, and that's what we do. We just look around, take one fish here, one fish there, and leave plenty on the spot in case we want to go back there next time for get another one or two for a feed. So um, that's what it's all about for us. We had a great day. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting out there and exploring the Cairns area a little bit more.